sa kauna-unahang pagkakataon matapos niyang mag-resign bilang press secretary ni PBBM, Atty. Trixie Cruz Angeles nagbabalik sa Luminous upang pag-usapan ang mga aral na natutunan niya sa loob ng palasyo. Atty. Trixie, bahagi pa rin ba ng Uniteam? Narito at alamin natin ang kasagutan. Uh, yes, today I was reinstated dito sa Luminous. Meaning, pwede na ako po uli mag-live. Missed everybody here. I see so many comments saying na na-miss ninyo ako. And believe me, ako din na-miss ko po kayo. I mean, this isn't a communication that just goes one way. I miss your comments. I miss your chika. I miss all of this. Pero we had to take some time para magservisyo sa gobyerno. Pa, pasintabi lang po, I cannot and I will not talk about... Uh, controversial matters pertaining to my service in government because I don't think it will help. Uh, what I just want to do is to go back to what we have always been doing and trying to help the country and disseminating information in the best way that we can. I'm not saying that I won't make mistakes as since we all do, but sometimes there are human failings even in the things that we know. But what we can promise is that now that we're back, so that whatever it is we will impart to you, if we make mistakes, we will admit those mistakes and correct them. So, hindi tayo yung magmamatigas na huli na ngang mali, magmamatigas pa. And the other thing that we also want to advocate is for people to be able to do that. Napansin nyo ba, and this is one of our topics today, <laughs> napansin nyo ba? Na kapag kunwari, uh, and this has happened to me several times, uh, pagka nagkamali ako, tapos may mag-criticize, I will say, oh, I'm sorry, you're right. I made the mistake here. The correct answer is ganito. Instead of saying good na lumabas na yung totoo, babatikusin ka pa, criticize at ibabash. Let's normalize people admitting mistakes and apologizing for them. That way, But we're, you know, we don't dig in. We don't make people dig in out of pride. Pagka nagkamali, say that we made a mistake or say that, well, maybe we made a mistake on this part, but this part still is correct. Kailangan, uh, yung para, para freeing discussion. We learn from our mistakes and we are human. Nobody is expected to be perfect all the time. But that we should show good effort to be correct and if making mistakes then admit them and correct those mistakes inormalize po natin yan especially here on social media and that way fake news isn't going to be such a big problem kasi sometimes pag nagsasalita tayo kunwari may live o kaya meron tayong post base yun dun sa information that we know at the time and sometimes that information is either disproven or will sometimes or Uh, alters later on. So, for example, we talk about an attempted hostage taking. What information comes out, sometimes we will issue commentary on that or explain uh, some of the factual information. Later on, may lalabas, updated na meron ng mali dun sa sinabi natin. So, let's normalize adapting to that. Oh, can you Now, our information was this. Now that we have been corrected, we apologize. Or if it wasn't really our fault, we will just simply correct it. This way, it doesn't become a hit or miss, an all or nothing approach. Uh, yung si ginagawa natin ganito is part of what we call a national conversation. Nag-uusap-usap tayo pa tungkol sa gobyerno because we are participating in government. We are participating through giving our opinions because we have a say in our how our country is run. It's not direct kasi ang say natin usually is limited by uh, through elections. We elect the people who make decisions and normally we trust them to make those decisions. But since those people are never going to be perfect and when they make mistakes, it is up to us, it is our duty as citizens to call that out. It shouldn't be, that's why we want to normalize people admitting mistakes, even government officials admitting mistakes and correcting them, kasi hindi nagkaka, 
ano, people don't dig into that, that mistake. Huwag na nating i-bash pag may nagkamali. Pag kinorek nila, dapat nga pinupuri natin and that's regardless of political position. Okay? Uh, hello po, na-miss ko sobra live nyo, sabi ni Thea Santiago. Ako rin, na-miss ko rin po yung pagla-live. So, <laughs> sabi ni Going Up Geek by Ian. Oh my God, welcome back po uli. Actually, I wasn't that prepared to to go live tonight, pero nakita ko may mga tao na na-miss nila yung earlier live dahil mahina ang audio or there was something wrong. So, ayun. Sabi ni Ma'am Eden, it's like being able to breathe again. So, ano po ba yung mga issues of the day? Ngayon, nakita ko may mga tao na binabash si Kong Sandro, uh, Congressman Sandro Marcos of Ilocos Norte. Now, ang problema is, nababash siya kasi abbreviated yung sinabi niya. Alam niyo naman, sa social media and sa, most often sa traditional media as well, kinukote nila partial lang ng sinabi ng tao and so nawawala yung konteksto. So I understand that uh, Congressman Sandro uh, actually had a lengthy explanation for the weakness of the peso, but some people have chosen to focus only on the first part. And that is as much fake news as it is to give wrong information. Kasi pagkulang yung kinukot ninyo for the sole purpose of making a person look bad, then that is not helpful. Kumbaga, uh, sana pinakinggan nyo naman yung buong explanation ni Kong Sandro. So, I think we should also normalize this to understand the context of what a person is saying. Okay. So, salamat, nag-live na kayo uli. <laughs> Opo. Alright. Uh, Ma'am Mariam Nasra Molina is watching from Sweden. Yes, ma'am, I miss you too. Hi, and uh, hello. That was a bit of a bit. Hindi po ako glamorous tonight. Ha? Naka t-shirt, tsaka naka walang makeup. Okay. Opo, namimiss ko lahat ng mga sutil dito. Uh, wag pong kakalimutan, like and share, ha? Balik na tayo sa dating polisiya. Don't forget to like and share. So, ito sabi ni Nemuel Ordinario, tama naman yung sinabi ni Kong Sandro Marcos. Ha? Yes, actually tama, but some people felt that it was awkward how he said it, which I don't agree with also. So, eh, ewan ko, some people will just take any opportunity to bash or to make fun of a person. So, ang ano ko, uh, ang sa akin, well, tayo talaga mga sutil, eh, totoo yan. And we do like to make jokes, and we do tend to have fun sometimes at other people's expense. Pero wag naman natin sasabihin na ridiculous yung sinabi ni Kong Sandro because the fact is, it is correct. Um, some people are not satisfied with the explanation and they think that it's too small or doesn't cover uh, the discussion comprehensively. And I will understand that comment. And I think yung mga ganyan, valid yung criticism na yan. It is much better to ask for more rather than to quote only a portion of what that person said and then make a judgment based on that. Kulang po sa konteksto yun. 